Okay, so could you introduce yourself, please? Sure. So I'm Philip O'Farrell. I'm representing Viacom International Media Networks. I look after all the digital platforms for the business. Okay, what sort of properties, for example? So I look after everything ranging from our preschool kids' brand, which is Nick Jr., through Nickelodeon, MTV, Comedy Central, and Paramount Television. And then we have a sprinkling of other channels, including BET um, and a number of others. And, and we have about 500 digital media properties, which span websites, um, connected devices, uh, and then lots of mobile web infrastructure. Okay. And what are your priorities here at Mipcom? Priorities here for me on this trip actually are spreading the social media word about engaging with audiences on all platforms, which for us is about driving engagement and driving people to linear tune in. Also, big focus for me on this particular trip is looking at content that we can acquire for our digital media properties. So we really want to be able to complement our own stable of programming with additional digital media content. Okay, there's, um, it seems to be a big topic, this MIP, of how active are TV companies really in social media. A panel just finished where Claire Tavernier from Fremantle was saying that it's not enough yet and people are, seem to be talking the talk but not really walking the walk. What's your take? Well, you'll know from what you've seen with us, we enjoy massive following in the social media environment. Across our brands, we're reaching three, four hundred million followers or likes. The big question is, what do you do with that? So for us, it's creating engagement, creating meaningful situations where the audience want to then come back to our own brands. So later on today, I'm taking a panel where I'll be talking about how we actually drive engagement, how we bring people from the social media environment, which is going to happen anyway. Regardless of what we do, people are going to talk about our iconic brands. They're going to talk about our shows. Our job really is to supercharge that environment and drive people back to our own properties. So I'm able now to demonstrate very, very clearly the link between social media and driving engagement with our brands. And that works well for our brand partners that want to come to us and advertise. It works well for our audience because it's offering more, more engaged environment. And most importantly, it works for our business because it helps drive people to linear tune in. And we do that through a whole variety of engagement solutions and often working with great partners, which again is you know, something that's great at, at the show here. I'm able to meet with various different partners that we can work with. Great. So we, we were talking about the example of um, SpongeBob has a Twitter account where he replies to people in funny ways. There's obviously a cost related to that, but what's the, what's the payback? Well, you? I think the key for me is ensuring that all of our brands are engaged. So they need to be engaged with the audience in whatever way that is, whether it's in a very small way where we get cast involved. So taking the UK Geordie Shore as a good example, one of the key success factors there that helped drive the best linear TV rating in the UK for MTV was based on getting the cast involved, getting on air involved with the social media environment. But really, for me, it was all the things that we did on our own platforms. So we created an app, or a number of apps, that the cast got really excited about. We made sure that the websites delivered more for the audience post TX we created an after show event so all of that creates a more immersive experience what then is really important is ensuring that that communication with the audience isn't marketing for me this is not about marketing it's about engagement which then equals revenue and that revenue is either people going to our linear TV channels or in many cases buying product from us whether that's downloads of apps or whether it's games or whether it's actually full length episodes that they're buying um, either to download to own or through our partners for streaming. So social media for me, definitely at the heart of everything we do, but it can't just be social media alone. It has to come with a very clear strategy, and that strategy for me is not marketing. It's about revenue, and it's about how you create value for the audience. If you're giving value to the audience, we derive value from it. Excellent. So giving value rather than just blasting out messages and not... Yeah, there has, to be, a, there has to be a reason to be engaged. That you have to feel good about that communication from mm. Spongebob or from Kenny and South Park. You know, you have to, there has to be a reason for it and it has to be sincere and true. That's, that, that is really, really key to monetizing social media, which is this age-old question, how do we monetize social media? Mm. I think we're getting there now. I think it's becoming real, on our platforms at least. Great. So things are changing fast. There's talk about lots of talk about two screen, multi screen. Can you imagine a sort of 
quite not too distant future where uh, people only watch TV on the on connected devices on the internet and not on TV at all. TV's at the heart of everything we do. Right. In order to create great programming, you need a mass audience, and that mass audience can enjoy our programming through big widescreen televisions. I think the key that under, underpins everything is the content. So you have to have a great script, you have to work with great talent, and you have to create a great experience. The budgets to do that sit within television or movie. I think for me, digital media or connected or 360 is all about supercharging that experience. Now, the consumption habits are changing and they'll change over the next five or 10 years, but at the heart of it has to be that, that content. So for the foreseeable future, that's about television. All of the other connected environments are about engagement, catch up, they're about delivering that experience when someone needs, to, when they're on the move or they want to get some, you know, some additional um, content fix. Mm. We, we keep that in the digital media environment. So all the additional content, all the, I call it retaining the audience whilst the show's not on air, that's all about digital media or that, that environment. TV's still the focus for the foreseeable future. Okay, but each screen has its role to play, basically. Each screen has its role to play. And yeah, of course those worlds are merging and the delivery of television content is merging. But as I say, it's, for us it's about television content. Great, thank you very much. Pleasure.